Hello YouTube friends! Many of my video viewers asking me how I want to prove my RC cars. So in this video I will show you how I do this. To protect the electronic speed controller is the most important thing to make an RC car usable in water. Many of more expensive ESCs are out of the box waterproof, but the cheaper ones like this Tamiya TEU 105 BK are not. But in many kits from Tamiya this ESC is included, so I will show you my way to make it water resist. I know it exists many ways to protect an ESC from water, but I want to show you a very easy and cheap way, maybe not the best, but on this way you have not to open the ESC and working on the inside electronics. As you can see here I already opened an ESC and used PlastiDip on the inside electronics. But in my experience, this work is not easy to do and have some risk to damage something. So I use a simple rubber balloon. But you will say, stop! It will overheat the ESC because there is no fresh air to cooling the heatsink. This objection may be right, but I use only a low power stock setup with a cheap silver can 540 motor. So the power consumption of this drive setup is low, and if I drive with the car a bit reasonable, it will be work well. Of course, this way is not suitable for high power setups in RC cars. This will overheating the system for sure. But if you like to protect your cheap stock setup RC car, how it is out of the box of so many Tamiya kits, this should be a good way. Ok, I put the ESC in the balloon. To prevent that water can go inside along these cables, I use PlastiDip to close the opening of the balloon. If you don't have PlastiDip, you can use some silicone or another sealant product that hardened in the air. After that, I use a zip tie to close it completely. And it's finished! As you can see without a big effort and risk. If you open the balloon, the ESC is still new and original. With the receiver, I'll do it on the same way. All cables are connected to the receiver and I put him into the balloon.
The ESC and the receiver are back in the car and as you can see here I use a waterproof servo from Hitech HS5646WP. As I said before, this is a standard 540 motor and these brushhead motors are not sensitive against water. After a wet run, I use a bit of spray oil to protect him against rust. So that's all at the moment. Hope you like this small informations and I hope it's helpful for you. Thanks for watching.